In the Philippines, the ideology of neoclassicism and romanticism can be seen through various artworks, such as paintings, sculpture, and architectural structures. Some of the well-known contributing artists express their skills and ideas on their own respe respective fields of specialization. Felix Hidalgo was acknowledged as one of the great Filipino painters of the late 19th century and also as the significant to the Philippine history for having an acquaintance and inspiration for the members of the Philippine Felix Resurrection Hidalgo y Padilla. Hidalgo born in February 21, 1855 in Binondo, Manila, died in March 13, 1913 in Barcelona, Spain. His nationality is Filipino, known for painting and drawing. The Christian Virgins being exposed to the populace. This painting portrays two scantily clothed Christian female slaves being mocked by a group of boorish Roman male onlookers. The semi-nude women have been stripped not only for, of their garments but also their dignity. Created in the academic style of Europe, an unfortunate woman in the artwork are considered some indigenous Filipinos as virgins being led out. Guillermo Estrella Tolentino was a, was a Filipino sculptor who was named National Artist of the Philippines for Visual Arts in 1973. He is considered as the father of Philippine art. Two of his great artworks were the Pambansang Bantayog ni Andres Bonifacio and the Oblation of the University of the Philippines. Guillermo Tolentino, born in July 24, 1890, in Malolos, Bulacan, died in July 12, 1976, at the age of 85, in Quezon City. Nationality is Filipino. His wife or spouse is Paz Raimundo. Bonifacio Monument UP Oblation Andres Bonifacio, the founder and supremo of the Katipunan. Andres Bonifacio fought for independence from the politically and socially ruthless colonial ruled by Spain. Fernando Cueto Amorsolo was one of the most important artists in the history of painting in the Philippines. Amorsolo is a national artist in the painting. He was, portrait, he was a portraitist and painter of a rural Philippine landscape. Also, he was popular for his craftsmanship and mastery in the use of light. Fernando Cueto Amorsolo, born in May 30, 1892, in Manila, died in April 24, 1972, at the age of 79. Known for painting, his wife is Maria del Carmen. Planting rice with mayon. It reflects the arrival of the Americans in the Philippines and the idealism of the artist to the Filipino society. The painting reflects the people's desire to escape from the complicated reality into simplicity. Juan Luna Inuvisio was a Filipino artist and sculptor and political activist. Luna was born in Vadoc, Ilocos Norte, Philippines on October 23, 1857. In 1861, his family moved to Manila where he attended Ateneo Municipal de Manila. He attained a Bachelor of Arts degree and excelled at painting and drawing. The painting features a glimpse of a Roman history centered on the bloody carnage brought by gladiatorial matches. Spoliarium is a Latin word referring to the basement of the Roman Colosseum where the fallen and dying gladiators are dumped and devoid of their worldly possessions.
Napoleon Billy Veloso Abueva, January 26, 1930 to February 16, 2018, was known as a father of a modern Philippine sculpture through proclamation No. 1539. He was proclaimed National Artist for Sculpture in 1976. He was 46, making him the youngest recipient of the award to date. Napoleon Billy Velosa Abueva, January 26, 1930 to February 16, 2018, was through scholarship grants. He was able to pursue advanced studies abroad, including one from Harvard. This made it evident that Napoleon Abueva could make sculpture that do stand for academic purposes. Through this information, we could see that the sculpture the nine muses of art was at most to represent the branch of knowledge of art. There are also some neoclassical and romantic architecture built during the American colonization in the Philippines. Here are some examples. San Fernando Provincial Office, Manila Post Office, Cebu Normal School, and Baguio Cathedral. Keep in mind, the ideology of neoclassicism and romanticism can also be seen in the Philippines through paintings, sculptures, and architectural design. Juan Luna became, became one of the first widely recognized Filipino artists. Fernando Amorsolo was a portraitist and a painter of rural Philippine landscape. He was a national artist of the Philippines for painting. Guillermo Tolentino was a Filipino sculptor named National Artist of the Philippines for Visual Arts in 1973 and hailed as the father of Philippine arts.